What's up guys, Shane Stars here. We're just a few weeks away from Christmas. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys my top tech picks for Christmas gifts this season. Let's go ahead and get started. My favorite piece of technology this year, hands down, has to be the Rad Runner Plus electric utility bike. The Rad Power Bikes team was nice enough to send two bikes over for review, which was awesome. I actually just asked for one with two helmets and they're like, well, if you need two helmets, you probably need two bikes. So big shout outs to them for being so sweet and nice to send me two bikes. First off, I just wanna say I love the retro design and look of this bike and the premium feel. It has leather all over, so leather on the seats, leather on the handlebars, and it is built with a 6061 premium aluminum. The bike is solidly built. It feels like it's built to last, but it's not super heavy. I'm actually able to pedal this thing without killing myself, even when I'm not using the motors. So speaking of the specifications here, we have a 750 watt geared hub motor, a 48 volt, 14 amp hour lithium ion battery. This has a 300 pound load capacity. So for most people, that's you and one other person, or at least you and a small child in my case. And you can get up to 45 plus miles per charge which is definitely something I was able to do. So if I use this as like a moped, I was able to get 25 to 30 miles per charge. And then if I use this as like a bike with assistance, I was able to easily get more than 45 miles on a full charge. So with any e-bike, the main thing that I'm worried about is whether or not it can attack a hill because we have tons of hills in my neighborhood. And even though I'm a big guy, I was able to get up hills in my neighborhood with no pedal assistance at all and still maintain a pretty decent speed of about 10 miles per hour, even on an incline. I was also able to achieve speeds of up to 30 miles per hour going downhill. So you do have five levels of pedal assist here. I usually just kept mine on the first level and it used the throttle on the right handlebar whenever I needed some assistance. The Rad Runner Plus does have a few things that really set it apart from the pack. It has that seven speed drivetrain, which is what is enabling me to get up those tough hills in my neighborhood. It also comes with a passenger package, which is awesome because my kids love to climb on the bike with me and go for afternoon rides when they get out of school. There's an elevated seat, which is super comfortable for them. There are pegs for them to put their feet on, and then there are wheel skirt covers, so they're not having to worry about getting their pants, legs, or anything like that caught in the wheels. This bike also has a front suspension fork, which was great great because there are a few places where the terrain gets a little iffy or if you want to take it off-road and having that suspension fork just means you're going to still have a safe and comfortable ride. The Rad Runner Plus also features full fenders on the front and the rear. So this means that if it's raining outside or if there's water on the ground, there have also been some instances where I had to run over some rocks that were in the road. The fenders were able to protect me and my children from the elements outside. Thanks to the premium headlight, we're also able to ride our bikes at night. People can see us from far away. They know that we're riding and we can also see what's in front of us even when it's super dark outside. The LCD display allows you to track your mileage and also the speed at which you're driving. You can also uh, go through the different levels of assistance. One of the really neat features of the display is the five volt one amp charge ports. You can actually charge your phone while you're riding, which I think is a really cool feature. The twist grip throttle was actually really sensitive to my command. So if I gave it just a little bit of gas, I would go slower. If I gave it a lot of gas, then I would go fast. That was another thing that really stood out to me about this bike. The low step frame design also allowed me to get on the bike and off the bike a whole lot easier. So I really like that about the bike. And the 750 watt geared hub motor meant that I had plenty of torque to get up hills, of course, and get through other terrain. Overall, we've had a ton of fun with our Rad Power Bikes, and I definitely suggest purchasing this for someone on your Christmas list. They're definitely gonna love these bikes. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can pick yours up today. Next up is the Chibo Fully Automatic Coffee Machine, and this has been one of my most used pieces of tech of 2021. It just makes an excellent cup of coffee. So one thing, if you don't know about Chibo, Chibo is basically like the Starbucks of Germany. So it's the coffee that everybody drinks in Germany and 
it's delicious. Like I love Chibo coffee. So they actually sent over not only the machine, but they sent over two packages of their coffee. Coffee is delicious. I've been buying more and more coffee as I run out just because I love the Chibo coffee so much. So one thing that is great about this machine, it has the bean grinder on top. So you can put whole beans in this machine. It's going to grind those beans, formulate a little puck inside the machine, and then press the water through. So you can have espresso and you can have uh, just a small cup of coffee, a large cup of coffee. They even have a caffeination adder so that you can add more caffeine to your cup of coffee. So the only issue that I had with this machine is that I wish that the water tank would have been a little bit larger uh, and fit more water. I was finding after about every six cups of coffee, I was needing to refill that and where it sits on my countertop, I have to totally pull the machine out just to get to the water. I mean, that's a super small complaint. If they ever release another coffee machine, maybe they'll make the water tank a little bit bigger. Because the coffee is freshly ground, you're getting a nice crema on top of every cup. And I've really enjoyed this machine to make lattes, cappuccinos, and all sorts of really cool drinks, especially around the holidays. So if you really do have a coffee lover or a warm drink lover in your life that you're buying for for Christmas, also be sure to consider the Ember Mug. They sent one out for review. Aside from the Chibo coffee machine, this is probably the second most used piece of technology in my home. This is just an awesome cup that will keep your coffee warm throughout the day, so there's nothing worse than getting halfway through your coffee and now it's lukewarm. That's no longer a thing with the Ember Cup. You pour your cup of coffee and as long as it's in the cup, it keeps it warm. They even have an application so you can set the perfect temperature. I feel like it comes set for the perfect temperature, at least for me, but if you need your coffee a little bit hotter, uh, then you can actually set that within the application. So this is a really cool piece of tech that you should definitely have on your Christmas wish list. Next up is the Reolink 2E security camera system. So these are really convenient battery powered security cameras that are super easy to install. I've got several around the house. They were nice enough to send out five cameras with solar panels. So this is really cool. Once you've charged the camera, you can actually place it outside with the solar panel and it will last for months. So I've actually had mine now for almost a year. I have a few that are placed strategically where they get plenty of sunlight and they have never lost a charge. So to this day, from about a year ago when I placed them on the house, they still have their original charge because that solar panel is able to keep them charged. Even without the solar panel, these cameras are able to last about a month, sometimes two months, depending on how much action they get throughout the day. Uh, they're also, of course, able to connect to Wi-Fi, which means you can access them from anywhere. The cameras do have an SD card slot, which means they can actually store video locally. But then there's also the cloud storage plans. For free, you get seven days of history, so that's at no cost to you. And we have bears in the neighborhood, and now all of a sudden we have coyotes in the neighborhood. So I'm able to actually go back and look at my history and see if any of those were in my yard at night. Um, or if you know my dog went crazy, I can go and check that time and see what was in the backyard. So for just $3.50 a month, you actually get support for five cameras on the cloud service for up to 30 days of history. I think that's a really good deal. Probably one of the best deals in the industry. The video coming out of these cameras is 1080p, super sharp, image looks great. You can even do two-way communication. So if like, say you have one at your front door and the UPS man shows up, you can actually communicate with that person as you can also set up for alerts on your phone. So if it senses that someone's there, it can alert your phone and you can use it for two-way communication. If you're looking for affordable Wi-Fi battery power cameras, the Reolink Argus 2E is a great option. I'll be sure to include links in the description. Last up, if you have a gamer on your shopping list, they'd probably love the Red Magic 6R. This is a gaming phone that's perfect for gamers. The first thing that stands out here is the Cyborg design. This kind of looks like a robot from the future. The 144 hertz ultra smooth display is perfect for games like Fortnite or Call of Duty Mobile where a split second can really make a difference. 360 hertz touch rate is another thing that's really gonna make a difference here and it has a Snapdragon 888 processor for peak performance. Now with all that performance, you're probably wondering 
Is this phone going to overheat? This phone also addresses that issue. The latest vapor chamber cooling technology. That means you're gonna be able to game for hours on end without your phone overheating and without your CPU throttling. The Red Magic 6R also features a couple of shoulder triggers which are perfect for first person shooter games. This also comes with a 4,200 milliamp hour battery with 30 watts of fast charging. Dual stereo speakers also mean that you're gonna get the ultimate experience in immersive gaming. If you're looking for a gaming phone, this is essentially a console in your pocket and I think it's gonna please any gamer on your Christmas wish list. All right guys, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this Christmas wish list. Thanks for watching, be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.